Here we determine the distance AB or the side length uh, C. So this involves uh, two steps. That is, in first step, uh, we have to determine this angle A. And in the next step, uh, using the sine law, we can determine the side length C or the distance AB. So let's do the step one. That is, uh, we determine the angle A. Uh, clearly, in any triangle, the sum of the interior angles equals 180 degree. That is, uh, angle A plus angle B plus uh, angle C. This equals uh, 180 degree. We place this uh, sum of the angles property to determine the angle A. So, I write down angle A plus angle B is given as 112 degrees and uh, 10 minutes plus angle C is given as uh, 15 degree 20 minutes and this equals uh, 180 degree. So first uh, let's add these two angles. I'm going to find, uh, first add the corresponding minutes. So the corresponding minutes is 10 and 20. So we get 10 plus 20 is 30 minute and also now add the corresponding angles that is 112 plus 15. So we add it that is uh, this is uh, 127. So this equals 127 degrees and 30 minutes. So we can write down this as angle A plus 127 degrees and 30 minutes. And this equals 180 degree. We can now find angle A by subtracting this quantity, that is uh, this angle from both sides. So when you do that, we get angle A equals 180 degree minus 127 degree and 30 minutes and when we do this subtraction we get uh, angle a equals 52 degree and 30 minute so we have determined this uh, angle a now let's do step two that is uh, we have to determine the side length a b this is uh, step 2. Determine the side length AB or which is uh, indicated by the lowercase uh, c. This c represents the side length AB. We can determine this uh, using the sine law. So first uh, let me write down the sine law for any triangle. This is sine A over A. And this equals uh, sine of uh, angle B over B. And this equals uh, sine C over angle C. So here we need to have uh, three known quantities and one unknown quantity so that we can determine that unknown quantity. So if you look at this diagram, we have uh, A. So we can mark this as A. Also, we have determined the angle A. And uh, we also know angle C. So this is also known. Uh, this is also a known quantity. And we just have to determine this uh, C this uh, lowercase c and this means uh, we can use this relation so let me write that relation that is uh, this is another form of uh, sine law you can write down this as sine of angle a over a and this equals uh, sine of angle c over the c this is the side length c uh, from this first we will solve for the side length uh, c we will then apply the values so uh, first I cross multiply like this so therefore it becomes uh, C times of uh, sine of angle A and this equals uh, A times of sine of angle C. This is uh, angle C. So this implies now we have to solve for C. So we, did, uh, we divide both sides by sine of A. We have to divide by this quantity. So therefore uh, this C this we have to write down in lower case. This is uh, C and this equals uh, A times of sine of angle C. I put this as a little bit big divided by sine of angle A. We have all this value which we can uh, replace it over here. We know that A which is basically the side length B which uh, and that is 354. So this equals uh, 354 times of uh, sine of angle C. Angle C is 15 degree 20 minutes. So I put uh, 15 degree and 20 minutes here. 
this over sine of angle A, that is uh, sine. We have determined that in uh, first step, 52 degree 30 minute. That is 52 degree 30 minute. We plug this uh, values into the calculator and uh, make sure that uh, you also take care of this uh, uh, minute quantity that is 15 degree and 20 minutes. In case if your calculator does not have this feature, uh, you can consider this angle as uh, since uh, we have the uh, relation between minutes and degrees as 60 minutes equals 1 degree. Therefore, 20 minutes, this will be 20 over 60 degrees. So this is equal to 2 by 6 or approximately 0.33. So this is degree. We add this uh, degree uh, quantity to this 15, which means that will become 15.33 degree. So now you can use this and plug this into the calculator to determine the sine of 15.33. And also you can uh, uh, put this 30 as uh, 30 over 60 uh, degree. And this equals a half or 0.5. So therefore, this equals uh, this quantity equals 52 point. So you have to evaluate a sine of 52.5 degree in case if your calculator does not have this portion. Otherwise, uh, you can directly plug it. And uh, here I have plugged in all these values, and I get approximately as uh, 118 meters. This is approximated to the nearest meter. So this represents uh, C or AB, the side length or the distance AB. So we have determined the distance AB as 118 meters.